We gather here to mourn the passing of American greatness. The real thing, not cheap rhetoric from men who will never come near the sacrifice he gave so willingly, nor the opportunistic appropriation of those who live lives of comfort and privilege while he suffered and served. Meghan McCain drawing a stark contrast today while honoring her father at his funeral. It was a moving ceremony to remember Senator John McCain. Most of Washington's elite in attendance, including former presidents Barack Obama, George W. Bush, and Bill Clinton. And with that kind of an audience, politics was sprinkled throughout the ceremony. But as Blaine Alexander reports, there were also many moments to honor the man and the maverick who served our country for decades. After one final ride through Washington, with a stop at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, Senator John McCain honored for more than 60 years of service. He was a great warrior. He was a great American. I admired him for all of these things, but I love him because he was a great father. Every detail hand-picked by the senator, including eulogies by the two men who ended his path to the Oval Office. After all, what better way to get a last laugh than to make George and I say nice things about him to a national audience? <laughs> Both with a lesson about putting aside differences. In the end, I got to enjoy one of life's great gifts, the friendship of John McCain. I never tried to hide, and I think John came to understand the long-standing admiration that I had for him. Inside the cathedral, a who's who of Washington politics, notably missing President Trump, not invited or mentioned by name, but not ignored. The America of John McCain has no need to be made great again because America was always great. Many viewing Senator McCain's memorial as his final act of service. John's voice will always come as a whisper over our shoulder. We are better than this. A lasting message for the country he leaves behind. And this is the last of the public tributes for Senator McCain. Tomorrow he will be laid to rest during a private ceremony and burial at his alma mater, the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis. Blaine Alexander, NBC News, Washington.